All right, welcome back. I was going to do a stream. I have no idea why it kept crashing, getting up, crashing, getting up, crashing. Looked at all the settings, couldn't figure it out. Figured I would just do a regular video then, and we'll just do it this way. So we got a lot to cover. There's a new update hitting today. It's going to be uh, between today and tomorrow. It's going to be a forced update for everybody. You guys should have already received part of this update. Now, because of the solo movie, they're doing double drops from the 25th. 26th and 27th that's on everything light side dark side normal hard cantina battles mod battles mod challenges that's right i'm pretty excited they're also launching out ships 2.0 pretty exciting about that we've been waiting for that so what's going to happen is there used to be a thing called hardware abilities that's going away it's now called reinforcement abilities and that's coming into play so pretty awesome there um, they're all going to receive this new reinforcement ability um, so that's coming in no more waiting on that pretty exciting the starting fleet is going from five to three, and the timer is going from seven and a half minutes down to five. This should be much faster, and there's gonna be way more teams that are viable than just the usual five or usual six suspects, so pretty cool. They're doing a new thing called quests. Quests are gonna be um, just to help drive uh, existing players through certain things to kind of teach them or navigate or guide them through uh, the gameplay. So for levels 20 or two through 21, they're gonna help teach them the core mechanics, um, such as daily activities, light side, dark side battles, cantina battles. Uh, levels 22 through 40, they're gonna dive more into the middle of the life cycle of a player. Um, they're gonna help them join guilds, join raids, work on specific teams. Uh, levels 41 through 85, kind of that mid game as well. They're gonna set quests to help them invest in new squads, help them prepare for the in-game content that's about to come for them. There's gonna be a thing called prestigious quests. Um, these are late game quests. When Once you hit 85, these will, quests will award titles to our in-game players. So that's really cool. You can earn uh, titles in game. The daily activities, guild activities and achievements have also been condensed. You guys already saw that on the update. Pretty cool. As far as titles go, elder players can earn titles for accomplishing certain feats. This is really, really cool because now when people see in game, they're gonna not just see your name, but they're gonna actually see a title that you've earned. These are superficial, mean nothing. They're just fun. And I love it that they're just trying to have some fun and give us some ability to have some flavor or spice inside of the game when it comes Comes to our names and whatnot. So you can earn these in a variety of locations which are described in the title's description. The most common being the most common being prestigious quests and difficult achievements. So pretty cool. Selecting titles. Once you a title is earned, it can be displayed next to your name um, and outside the guild chat rooms. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Now there's going to be uh, what's called starter guilds. Starter guilds are going to be a new type of guild kind of Autobot ran, which is gonna be the ability for you when you first start to join a guild that kind of helps you walk through what it's all about to be a guild. This is really pretty cool, kind of wish I had it when I started, um, so very cool. There's gonna be seven tiers of this starter guild and everyone who hits level 22 is gonna automatically be put into a starter guild. As the player advances, they're gonna be able to do higher tiers of the raids, the Rancor, Sith, all of that will become available. And then once they have enough, um, they'll be able to switch. You know, once they've mastered those seven tiers, they'll be able to switch to a normal guild. Um, the chat, we all kind of seen the chat improvements that they're doing. There's officer chat versus standard chat. There's donations now in the chat. So while you're in chat, you can see the donations needed. Kind of like every other game, like Clash Royale and all those, where you, when you're chatting, you see donations and you can do that. So pretty cool. Um, there's a chat banner message now. Um, there's a bunch of other things. You can have a friend's direct message. You can communicate with anyone inside the game now uh, directly from their player profile. Uh, there is reporting slash muting. If you're having an issue with someone who is contacting you or spamming you or something, you can report slash mute that individual, uh, which is good since they're increasing all the chat capabilities. Uh, for chat settings, there is a chat limit that you can send uh, you, let's see, uh, there are settings in chat to limit who can send you chat requests, i.e. ex-guild members versus guild and allies versus everyone. Uh, displaying titles, it says players can choose to display one of their earned titles in a friends or a non-guild chat room. Um, this is really, really cool, super exciting about this. Auto post raids, so we all go into the raid uh, the, the day it's launched. Everybody has to tell us about it. We have to go into it, we have to post a zero, we have to go into the battle and actually do a battle uh, and then get out with no damage dealt. 
Now these are gonna auto launch. So officers are gonna set up a specific raid and a time, and there's gonna be a little join button, kind of like Territory Wars. You're gonna click join at your leisure when you have an opportunity. And then when it launches, you're already gonna have a zero posted because when you hit join, it'll auto give you that zero. So there's no more going in and doing a cra you know, crappy battle. And for new people, they don't have to ask the question, what's the zero 24 hour rule all about? because they don't have to worry about it. They'll just click join and then nobody will be able to participate until the date and time that it is scheduled in game. This is really cool. There'll be basic training events. Um, those basic training events uh, will learn effective combat techniques, borrowing units from popular factions such as Rebels, Empire, First Order Resistance. The first basic training event unlocks at level 26 to help you understand how your Rebel Squad works. Now this one is my personal favorite, find flow. Not flow like from progressive, like straight up find flow. When you're looking for stun cuffs and you go in, you'll actually be able to find them because when you go to find, it's gonna show you everywhere in the game they are right there. So if they're in stores, the stores will actually show up inside of where you would farm for them with the currency amount and how much currency you have of that. So if it's in the guild store, it's now right there. You just click buy and it comes out of the guild store without having to navigate to the guild store and scroll through it to find that particular item. Really cool. There's new packs and bundles coming out. There is a uh, launch bundle, a ship's 3v3 launch bundle. This will be a limited edition thing. They're gonna do ship blueprints, um, character shards. And if you notice, there's a lot of lesser used characters and lesser used ships. That's because there's a lot more viability in the new ships 3v3 with these specific characters. Pretty cool. There will be ship building materials, enhancement droids, and ship reinforcement materials. There's a maximum purchase of one, and you've got to be at least a level 60 plus, or you won't even see this inside of your game. There's a reinforcement materials bundle. I think this will probably be worth it. I don't know the price yet. You have to be level 75 and you can purchase it once and it has ship Omega abilities, finally, ship building materials, enhancement droids, and the ship reinforcement materials. The ship reinforcement materials and the ship Omega abilities are a big deal. The shard shuffle, this is crazy. <laughs> All right, Darth Cyan and Visa Smar are both now going to be farmable already. Yes, that's right. Darth Cyan on light side 9A. That's where uh, one of the First Order Stormtrooper nodes is. So now he is going to become much harder to farm. And Darth Cyan now has a node. So for everybody who was free to play with a three-star Cyan, go get to it when this uh, update launches here in a few. Visa Smar now on 7B. Visa Smar is pretty amazing. Um, she's going to take over uh, the other scavenger ray uh, note. There is a, a polish slash quality of life updates that are happening. Um, you've probably seen this already. There's a little Zeta badge indicator that shows up by the portrait on the bottom left, and it will have a little number inside of it. If you look real closely, it'll have like a one, two, three, whatever for how many Zetas it, that character actually has. So kind of cool. Um, whenever you see gear in the store or receive it as rewards, if that applies to a character in your favorites, it will actually show you that little yellow favorites tab, just like it does on your favorites characters. So you know that gear goes specifically towards that character. Now where this is really cool is if you got some crystals saved up, you go into the store to buy a couple of pieces of gear, instead of wondering, does this apply to my favorites? You just look and you can see all the things tagged with yellow and you can see, oh, these individuals need it. Now, it does showcase everything that the character needs, including all the superficial small crappy gear um, and sometimes that stuff you'll have plenty of so the good news is it does show how much of everything you currently possess which is really cool uh, let's see guild raid panels are now ordered correctly by progression after a squad dies on a raid attempt the screen will say attempt over versus defeated because that was an attempt you made um, and it would be over. There are now new tutorials to help officers understand the new features so that's kind of cool um, ship abilities maxed cover icon fix. Uh, they're going to change the word maxed on ship ability icons to a green check mark. So instead of it saying max on top of it, it'll just have a little green check mark. Kind of cool. Uh, ship, let's see, modified to defeat squad overlay in territory wars. You'll now be able to view squads that have been defeated in territory wars more easily. They make it kind of hard in the past to kind of see what happened. How many battles did you have? It's all grayed out. Should be a little easier. Um, they're revamping the look and feel of the Guild Exchange screen to match the new donations in chat. 
Uh, let's see, some inbox messages will now have a more info link. So when you see it, you can click it and get more information. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff, not really anything super important. Um, a lot of fixes and uh, one fix I'm really sad about right here is uh, K2SO is no longer or should no longer get stuck in the run, run, go no way. Yeah, I mean, I, I love that. I love when he gets stuck and just keeps running. Um, I know when you're typing in like rebel in the search engine or search thing, it finds Yoda and Kenobi and he, they're not rebels. So they're going to have that fixed. HK 47 was showing up when you typed in bounty hunters um, and he's not a bounty hunter. Uh, so they fixed that. The Jedi Knight Anakin and General Grievous, the 3D art sometimes was like offset um, and they're going to fix the, the set or offset on that. Just like Geonosian Spy's weapon didn't quite fit properly on his hand. Um, let's see. Territory Battles stats tab is now going to be more consistent. There's a bunch of ships fixes. There's uh, the tie. Let's see. The Slave 1 proton torpedoes dealing damage and applying ability block through foresight. That's been fixed. Uh, tie Silencer's disruptive advance will now reapply the advantage buff when a unit already had advantage. So it's a fresh advantage being applied, which it should. Bistons Ewing, thank you, Lord, for fixing this. Opening move can no longer be evaded while in stealth. So his basic always hits, but in the game it would it would hit, but it would still say evaded, and they would get turn meter unjustifiably. So this really makes Biston even better than he was uh, because he's actually going to work the way he was supposed to. I'm super happy about that. Um, Endurances, Fortune favors the Bold Valor buff, no longer stacks. Uh, and Ty Reaper's ability, Heavy Interference, no longer increases cooldowns. Um, instead of target when enemy has no buffs uh, and then fix an issue where some ships would only use their basics when on defense. I have not seen that myself personally, um, but I'd also never play it on auto battle. And I think that's when it was happening uh, and fixed an issue where some characters inventory directs the user to a guild home screen. I hadn't seen that. And then also for audio, there's one thing is lightsabers now have an ignition sound. So pretty cool. There's a lot of really awesome things. I'm going to put the link to this in the video. I'm super happy about Shard Shuffle for all you free to play, getting to farm Visa Smar and Darth Sion. Super excited that the ships are being reworked, that we're getting some bundle packs for those abilities that are coming out, both the reinforcement abilities and the Omega abilities. That's pretty cool. I like the fact that they're fixing a lot of the ship issues. My Bistan video you should watch because he's pretty awesome. I like how they're looking after the brand new player, trying to get new uh, chat features and new guilds and things like that to try and help out all of those individuals um, who are kind of starting out. The titles, while superficial, are kind of fun that you get to actually earn some titles and everybody would have a different title. Um, so you can kind of see what people like in the game personally. It adds a little bit of just culture and flavor into it. And the double drops are absolutely huge. Three days of double drops pretty much everywhere. So super exciting about that. What is your favorite part of these, this update? Leave them in the comments down below. And as always, keep your gaming on. Warrior, out.